Welcome to Sports Talk. You're watching Sports Talk. Hosted by the man himself, Lion Foot. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome to Sports Talk. This is Sports Talk hosted by the man himself, Lion Foot. Yes. Shout out to all the football fans out there, all the viewers and subscribers. Welcome to Sports Talk. Yes, over here we talk about sports, mainly football. Yes, so this is an update on Arsenal injuries. Looking ahead at our game, away game to sport in Lisbon in the Europa League. Um, Jesus close to fitness and IFAB FA looking into Arsenal celebration to see if they deserve a charge. Yes, viewers and subscribers, so you don't know, we are forward, don't go away. This goes out to all races. Don't hide and abuse me, coward, please show your faces. Yes, welcome back, welcome back, thanks for staying with us Don't forget to like and share, hit the subscribe button and click the bell, help the channel grow. Yes, a shout out to all the Gunas fans out there. So first, let's talk about our injuries. We have um, Eddie Nketia out with an ankle injury, should be a short setback. We have um, Trossard out with a potentially growing injury. He's going to have a test. So um, good job for taking him off um, quick and quite quick and early. And good good on him to tell the manager he's not feeling well. So some players would have wants to stay on the pitch. So well done for that. Um, we also have Jesus, Gabriel Jesus, close to fitness. He's on the pitch now as Arteta stated. And there's a pick of him on the field kicking ball. And also, I want to shout out to give a nice shout out to his family. What a nice family um, he has. Yes, according to Arsenal and the title run, um, we run into 12 games to go. We're going to need every player fit. So, uh, hopefully, Eddie Nketiah, you know, Trussard and, yeah, can become fit back right now. Because we're going to need every player right now to finish this title chase. You know what I mean? Yes, my viewers and subscribers. So, this Thursday, the 9th of... March, Arsenal travel away to Sporting Lisbon in the first leg of the Europa League. We have no Trossard, no Eddie Nketiah, no Jesus. Um, so guys, let me know in the comment section below what formation Mikel Arteta should use or who should he start um, on the width. Should, should we go with Emil Smith-Rowe or Reese Nelson? Reese Nelson, em, Emil Smith-Rowe is fit again and they both came on and played um, an integral role in our 3-2 win against um, Bournemouth. Yes, um, Smith Rowe had his assist for Thomas Partey's goal and also Reese Nelson had his assist for Ben White equaliser and the stunning winner himself, um, the 3-2 win. You know what I mean? I I, I, I'm going to give you guys a recap back on that. You know what I mean? But let me know who you think should start wide. Um, Reese Nelson or Emil Smith Rowe with... Um, uh, with our Martinelli as a false nine in the middle. For me, I I would go with Martinelli down in the middle, you know, as a false nine. Along with Emil Smith Rowe, you know what I mean? And uh, starting. But you guys can let me know, maybe you have different um, views, you know what I mean? But yeah. And again the defense, our defense has to be solid and strong. You know what I mean? Yeah, hopefully we don't concede no away goals. But for me, um, Martinelli definitely down the middle because he's so quick and he can finish his. I think he would be a perfect fit as our number nine, you know. Um, yeah, but let me know if you if you think so as well in the comment section below. Yeah. So as promised, um, the Gunas fans, yes, um, we're gonna have a recap at Reese Nelson stunning strike, the winning goal, and he also explains how he assessed the situation, quick thinking, and yes, um, boy, I, I can't stop celebrating it right now because we're buzzing, we're buzzing, still five points ahead of Man City. So hear what Reese Nelson has to say. In goes the corner, cleared only as far as Nelson has to get his shot right. Yeah! Through the strike there at the end, what was going through your head when the ball dropped you? Uh, to be fair, it dropped to my right, you know, and I was thinking I'm going to lace it to my right, but then I saw the defender coming out, so I kind of had to shift it onto my left and then just had to just hit through it, aim for the top bins, and uh, something like that. And then I got Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, happily it's went in, but I'm um, delighted with that. So there it is, guys. You hear it from the Reese Nelson himself. He said it came down on his chest. He saw the player defender, he was going to hit it with his right. Then he saw the defender. Um, running out, open up that space, so he, he shifted onto his left foot um, quickly and fast, and he just hit it, you know what I mean, with precision. 
and that is what professional players get so much money per week to do do their job uh, with, with precision and accuracy you know what i mean and what a stunning strike you know what i mean so yes that was that was quick thinking you know what i mean he chest it down on his right foot then he make a next quick touch on his left and bang in the goal the place was i tell you immense the atmosphere was immense you know perfect celebration and you know after the celebration the coaching staff everyone ran onto the pitch you know what i mean except Mikel arteta you know because he was warned you know arsenal have been um fined by the fa several times this season so i'm gonna give you a quick rundown on the article um because the fa is currently investigating to see um you know what happened because the referee had to put it in his report you know what i mean so this is what the article is saying in the metro Arsenal face potential FA charge for celebrations during Bournemouth win. Why may I tell you? <laughs> so you see, Nelson was joined by Arsenal substitutes and non-playing staff on the pitch during the celebrations before the final whistle. And the FA is now investigating the incident after it was referenced in the report submitted by referee Chris Kavanagh after the game. Yes, and let me put this out there. We cannot blame the referee, you know what I mean, for putting in his report. He has to because I'm, I am also an active referee at step six level, you know what I mean? And um, yeah, we you, we have to put those incidents in the match report, you know what I mean? So for me, um, I, maybe I would have done the same thing because, I don't know, emotions and feeling and such a great moment, no one can control themselves, you know what I mean? Everyone is happy, you know what I mean? As you can see, the enormous sound and celebration from all over the world all the arsenal fans them so ifab law state that coaching staff and substitutes in the technical area must behave in a responsible manner the laws also state that they must remain within its confines except in special circumstances example a physiotherapist doctor entering the field of play with the referee's permission to assess an injured player if the FA go ahead with the disciplinary proceedings, it will be the fourth time Arsenal have been charged this season. So there you have it guys. Um, yeah, so once a player is down on the ground, you have to let the referee assess the player first, ask him if he needs treatment, assistance. Once he said yes, we call them on. You know what I mean? So you cannot enter the field of play without the referee's permission. So as I say, that moment I understand and hopefully the FA can look into it and say, you know what? Let's let them off this time. Don't charge them because this is the Premier League and why it's the best league in the world. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you're going to get moments like these. Great moments like these. Heartbreak moments and full enjoyment moments. This time it was Arsenal full enjoyment and Bournemouth heartbreaking moments. So this is why it's the best game in the league and the most watched league in the world. You know, so hopefully FA, the FA can look into it and say, um, you know what, we understand. So... Don't let it happen next time, you know what I mean? And we see it happen in lower leagues as well, Sunday leagues. You know, I see it happen a lot, you know what I mean? And, you know, small, small leagues, kids kids do it, parents. Everyone is just emotions and happiness and a great moment. So, guys, um, we've come to the end of this review here right now, this vlog here. You don't know, sports talk. And um, let me know in the comment section below what you think. If you agree with me about if Martinelli should be the number nine, you know what I mean? And Emil Smith on the wing or Reese Nelson. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. I would love to hear your opinions. Zane, and don't forget to like and share the content. Please and thanks. Your support is highly appreciated. This is Sports Talk, hosted by the man himself, Lion Foot. Yes, my big up a lot of gooners them out there. Come on. Oh, Arsenal, we do. Oh, Arsenal, we do. Oh, Arsenal, we do. Oh, Arsenal, we love you. Arsenal till the day I die